I just used some bleach to reverse tie-dye this black t-shirt. And I used this white t-shirt and tie-dyed it with this black ink to reverse reverse tie-dye it. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're gonna put our thing down, flip it, and reverse it with some reverse tie-dye. Yep, we're gonna make two black tie-dye t-shirts. One we're gonna start with a black t-shirt, and one we're gonna make a black t-shirt. Both of them tie-dye. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. I needed a black t-shirt, some bleach, hydrogen peroxide, some soda ash, and some tie-dye. And your gloves. Oh and my gloves. <laughs> and then for mine, I'm gonna use a white t-shirt, soda ash, tie-dye, some black tie-dye ink, because we're gonna try and make it a black shirt, some rubber bands, which oh. he will need as well. I'll also need some rubber bands. And then some buckets for some water, and some trays to let it drip. And some water. And water, good and, point. Uh, yeah, that is it. <laughs> Step two, it's time to spiral. <laughs> We're gonna make our designs. We're gonna put our spiral in our shirts. Spin it, twist it, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> We're gonna do two different ways though. He's gonna wet his first, which I think might be better to get a tighter spiral, that but I am good. not going to wet mine first. You're going with that loosey-goosey spiral. <laughs> loosey-goosey. Just, just need my shirt damp. Close it around a little bit. All right, I think the key to this tie-dye is to make sure that you have a tight spiral, a neat, tight spiral. A tidy, tight spiral. Neither of us have ever tie-dyed before. I've so never spiraled. We have a whole lot of instruction <laughs> based on theory. Yeah. Well, should we tell them that? Should we tell them that we are not tie-dye experts? We are not tie-dye experts. We are what you call in the biz, noobs. <laughs> now I'll put this water back in here. I should try pouring that water into a top hat. Oh, you need help? Yeah, keep this spiraled out. Just go ahead and twist it, give it a twister. All right, you got it, don't let it go. Keep going, keep going. You want these little spirals to come in? Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Oh, I'm gonna need to get my hand off the camera. Ooh, your bands stink. They are stinker bands. <laughs> Glad that one's not mine. Yeah, not mine. <laughs> All right, I got an idea though. Nah, there's got to be a better way. That's too difficult. What if we did like? Step three is only for me because I'm gonna bleach my shirt. Kim's got a white shirt. So I need 50% water, 50% bleach. Let me start with the water. This looks like it'll be messy. Oh, success. Now the bleach, oh. Safety first. The bleach can be bad stuff, Kim.
Don't judge. <laughs> He's got blue gloves. They just have butterflies and flowers on them too. <laughs> My son was helping me out. He went and got me some gloves. I guess he thought this was funny. Bam! Look at that, no spillage. No, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm impressed with myself. I'm gonna do this triangle, these two. You're just gonna do half of your shirt. If you wanna, I think that's the technique you want. I think I want these two triangles. Okay, you're just making it up as you go. It's just soaking it up, suck it up. Gotta get it down in there. Push the thing in there and then add liquid. Okay, I'll do it that way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Now it's time to slip it up and flip it. All right, you're dripping all on the other one. Oh yeah, it'll just add to the coolness. I didn't really yeah. stay inside the lines too good. <laughs> okay, this will set for five minutes is all this really needs to bleach. Taking my gloves off. Taking my gloves off. Speed this jam up. minutes plus heat I think we're done so now we're gonna put this in the water with a cup of hydrogen peroxide so now he has to neutralize the That's bleach right. we don't want it to continue to bleach the shirt so the hydrogen peroxide will help neutralize this so we're gonna set this in one gallon of water one cup of hydrogen peroxide for 20 minutes that's like that's, a cup yeah and this is about a gallon. Slosh it around. Ooh, look, the water turned brown. I'm very curious to see how Garrett's turns out. Me too. <laughs> 20 minutes later. All right, been 20 minutes. Time to see what we got. Ring out my shirt. I'm surprised at how like brown the water golden is. the water is, yes. Ooh, look at that. More stuff is coming out. Ooh, look, yeah, it's really turning the water orange. Ooh, look at that. Interesting. It's all that dye, I guess. Ugh. That might be all I can get out. Alright. Oh, I lied. Get this little Squeeze your tail. Alright. Step four. Now we're gonna make it pop. We're gonna use some soda ash, which is supposed to make the colors be more vibrant, more brilliant, brighter, poppier. So we have some soda ash. And I think you need gloves for this part too. Yeah, like I don't even I haven't even give me a cut. Why are you holding it like that? Why are you cutting it like that? I, was, I didn't think you'd cut all the way across. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying. I was like, why can't I get all the way across? I just wanted you to nip the corner. Just give me a nip. And then a gallon of water. Stand back. Warm water. Warm water. A gallon of warm water. So the soda ash dissolves. Give it a little stir. Now we're gonna put both shirts in. Yes. Well, I mean, unless you want to make another tub. No. Oh yeah. Well, yours mess up. Yeah, I know. Don't be messing up my shirt now. Yours is already white. I think mine's been neutralized. Go ahead. All right. If mine turns orange, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, you'll just use orange uh, dye then. Here, you want this to hold them down? Yeah. Hold it down. Hold it down. All right. Tw 20 more minutes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> a lot of one step and wait, one step and wait. Hurry up and wait. So these have to sit 20 minutes to really soak up that. Get all the juices going. Sodium carbonate or whatever it is. I don't yeah. actually. Soda pop. Some soda, soda pop. ash. 20 minutes later. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Let's take these out, see what we got. Water's a little brown, a little orange. Hope it didn't make the shirt orange. All right, we'll squeeze these out. Mm. Do they need to be dry dry? Mm -mm. No? All right, cool. Just give them a good ringing. Yep. Give them a good ring and don't undo it now. All right, I won't undo Keep it. Keep my rubber bands intact. I can finally do something. I haven't been able to really do much. I guess I did this too long. Yeah, look how orange that water is. Yeah, it didn't come out on your shirt there, so got that going for me. <laughs> I'll set this aside, it's a little stinky. Step five, time to add the dye. First we have to add water in our dye. And then we put them, we put our shirts on these grates over top of these, what are these, like oven pans? Yeah, casserole dishes. That way the shirt's not sitting in a sloppy mess down, down there just in a goop and turning all gross. Try to keep our colors tight. Doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Doing a lot of pouring. That's how you do it. Bang. Get a good shake on. Just gonna put it in there. Yeah. Just gonna drip it across. So for yours. Yes, you're going to do it only in the bleached sections. You're going to add dye in the bleached areas. Should I do red and blue or red and blue and red and blue? Well, I, um, side by side. Red and blue and red and blue. Okay, that's what I'm doing. All right, and for me, I've got a mess going already. Oh, you got your black dye? I'm going to, yes. So Which I'm going to put colored dye on top. I'm doing three shades of pink. And then I'm going to put black dye on the bottom. Oh, and then black dye on the bottom? Yes. Oh. I'm going to flip it over and add black dye all Ooh, over that's the where bottom. Ooh, that's where you're flipping it. Flip it and reverse it. Ooh, this is messy. Yes, it is. There it is. These bottles are leaking everywhere. They are making a complete mess. Mine's not mess. as leaky as yours. Mine are so leaky. Now I have my colors on top. Now I'm going to flip this whole thing over and add black all over the back of it. Now I'm going to flip it back over and then re-add the dyes where the black may have gotten. Then we're going to leave this black side down. Oh, are you? Yeah, makes sense. Put mine in the bag. Stewing your own juices. Doesn't matter if it's air, like, has air in it. I take the air Okay, yes. So now they have to go in these baggies, seal them up nice and tight. Yep. So they don't dry out. And this is the hard part. You have to let it sit 24 hours. I know, I don't even know what mine looks like yet. <laughs> this is like the longest project. Yeah, the right. long haul project. We'll see you in uh, 24 hours. 24 hours. 2,000 years later. It's been 24 agonizing hours. I still don't know what it looks like or if I did it right. But we're going to take it down to the sink and rinse it until it runs clear. Clear, we're gonna fill the sink up with some cold water, add a little Dawn dish soap, and 
rinse it just a little bit in that Dawn dish soap before we wash it, again, to help these colors set. And then we're gonna go put it on a cold wash. For the reveal, three, two, one. Uh, mine turned out nothing like I thought it would. <laughs> like nothing. Like this, I did not have this in my head at any point during during this project. Well, it, well, mine spiraled, so that's good. But it doesn't look like a black T-shirt that was tie-dyed, so. That was opposite. Yeah, yours looks cool. <laughs> yours looks cool. Mine looks... Tried to tell him to spiral it. He wouldn't do it. <laughs> he had a better method. I thought it was an like, easier way. I thought I'd get the same result easier way. Nope. <laughs> nope. So, uh... We're gonna have to try this again. Yeah, we're clearly tie-dye newbies. Uh-huh. I have a different idea. Yeah. Big thank you to our patrons. And it looks like we're out of time, so if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we'll see you next week when we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And uh, maybe I'll redo my shirt by then. Do something with it. I'll do something with it. I'll make it cool. I'll make it cool. Stop showing cool off, Kim. 